what's up people, Dr. Sports is right here and welcome to the final episode of Series 1 of Game Gems. You guys know the show where we talk about games that become gems and should be going into your own personal game collection. As you guys know, I have five games here that I have personally chosen by myself and I think they should go into my gem collection. And there'll be games that I recommend to you guys to try and pick them up or even try them out yourself. So, the PlayStation 5. The newest console of them all, especially for the Xbox Series. The, is the competitor against Xbox Series and the Nintendo Switch. Now, of course, the release date was a massive clusterfuck, as you guys know. It came out during COVID-19, where we were all locked in the house and nobody was doing fuck all except for playing video games. The Nintendo Wii got popular, a lot of handhelds got popular, and especially old retro games got popular. But what became more popular was scalpers. That, that year, I called it the PlayStation and Xbox scalping situation. When the release of the pre-orders for the PlayStation and the Xbox series, there was the biggest scalper situation that ever happened. Every single game console got sold out in seconds because of scalping, chipping and shipping. Now chipping and shipping is pretty much people going on the internet using hundreds of thousands of different accounts and pre-ordering them one after the other. And it wasn't just by numerous people, it was mainly by one person every time and they bought the whole size stock. And sadly it couldn't be stopped. Luckily for me, I didn't want the PS5 at start at day one because there was games there that I wasn't really interested in. After a year or two later, when COVID was finally over and done with and we were back to our normal lives, back in 2022, I've had this game console for about a year now, people just to let you guys know. I got myself my PS5 in a normal, pre um, a normal price, retail price, not scalpers prices. And I started playing my PS5. I uh, started my live streams, as you guys know. I got myself built up with it. But then I went ahead and saw some amazing games on that system. And some of them are definitely instantly getting immobilised right now in the Game Gems library. I've chosen five right now, people. There is definitely going to be more in the future after a couple of more years. Because, like I said, I've got a few more games to play. And some of them right now that I'm playing right now on my... Um, on my personal self, definitely do become gems right in the future. But for the time being, they can't be gems yet. But I've got five right here that I've played and finished and definitely going to be immobilised right here, right now. First one, we're going to go for a horror game, and that is Ikai. I live streamed this game with you guys. It scared the fuck out of me. Um, very, very scary. I enjoyed it. Um, it's blatant. It's Blatantly, you um, trying to stop dead, uh, dark, very dark, bad spirits by um, painting symbols and putting them on cursed objects. Um, it, it's pretty much played in the night time where all the demons are all knocked about trying to find you. Oh, fucking marvellous. Love it. Um, it's a very, very short game. I think the game is around about to a three to four hour game. Let's play if you guys are going to plough through the game very, very quickly. For me, it took around about five to six hours, I think. But by God, it was scary. I absolutely loved it. It was fantastic. It is got numerous um, extra gameplay if you really wanted to play it again. Because you can go ahead and go after the other spirits if you wanted to. But for me, I didn't want to because I was too fucking scared. <laughs> and that's the same thing with a lot of our horror games. When I played it once, I don't want to play it again because I'm too scared. And I don't want to go through that same rim all again. And with Enter Every Game as well, when you've been scared once, you know what's going to happen next, so there's no point to do it again. But 100%, it's going into the Game Gems um, library. It's a Game Gem. Next up, <coughs> it is the last game I live streamed um, that was a horror. Horror Tales the Wine. A very tough game. Um, not extremely tough like in hard, but tough for puzzles. I struggled quite a lot on puzzles, people, but luckily, thanks to some people like Chris and the others, it actually helped me out on here, and especially on the final boss area, oh my god, that was tough. But it was scary. The headless dude, oh, he was terrifying. 
But a lot of the jump scares though were very, very, very scary as well. And um, again, it was a very, very short game. You can beat the game in around about two to three hours if you plow for it very quickly and you know what exactly what you're doing. For me, it took around about five hours at least. But I did take my time with it and I enjoyed every minute of it. And I also tried to break the game as well near the end, trying to do a glitch. Um, I tried to do a speedrunner's glitch, but sadly I did it numerous times and I failed miserably, but I enjoyed it either way. It is a great game. I can't wait for the next one that comes out, which is going to be called The Beggar, which I probably will be buying and I will be playing on my, myself as well. Going straight into the game gem collection. Love it. Next up, we'll go ahead and do one that I just recently finished and I absolutely loved it because it was such a beautiful game and that's Kena, um, Bridge of the Spirits. It's a beautiful game. It's absolutely beautiful. Um, you play as a female character, Kena, who is a spirit charmer. She pretty much um, helps spirits go to the afterlife or help their problems before they go to the afterlife. Um, she's trying to heal the whole entire planet because it's dying for some weird reason. But there's also some form of other spirits that are getting corrupted by the planet. So it needs to rescue them to go ahead and save the world. And there's these little tiny black, little tiny black characters. And they are absolutely adorable. They were very, very cute. And, but sadly, I can't tell you more about them characters because it would ruin the story. So I can't say any more about them little guys. But all I say is though, the combat is spot on. There is puzzles in the game that can be quite challenging, but very straightforward. The um, bow and arrow mechanism is flipping flawless. I had no problems with it whatsoever. Story was really straightforward. It's not a very long game, just to let you guys know. It's probably around about a six hour game if you don't do any side quests. If you do side quests, you're talking about, around about a 20 hour game. That's all I can say. But... It's just a beautiful game at the end, people. The music's nice, it's soft, it's very, very straightforward. Beautiful characters, beautiful story. It's it's pretty much respect. It, the game does have a message. The get, and I think the message in my eyes when I see it is... Do not treat your life as a chore. Treat your life as a gift. And that is a very, very good lesson, people, because you only have one life. If you use it and you waste it, you screwed up your life, you got to live with it. And if you don't, choose wisely, you'll have a great life. And that's what Kena and, and the Bridge of Spirits is about. It is phenomenal. Next up is a game that a lot, a lot of people found it quite um, lackluster in. A lot of people didn't like it for some reason, but I actually really adored it. Soul Hackers 2. Now, Soul Hackers 1 came out on the Nintendo DS a long, long time ago, and they never got a sequel years and years and years later, but lo and behold, we got a sequel on the PlayStation 5 and the Switch. And, oh my god, it was ace. I really, really did love it. Uh, sadly, I did not livestream this game. I was supposed to livestream this game with you guys, but I had so many games coming out on my backside, I had to pass it on for my own, for my own um, amusement. And to be honest, I was quite happy I did, because I put a lot, a lot of hours in this game. I took around about 100 hours of this game, and I freaking loved it. It was so freaking good. And the DLC as well was definitely worth it, because Mawa was the DLC, the big green penis monster. I had to get the freaking DLC, so yeah, that was that. The characters are very memorable. They all have their own personal um, personas. Bracket, foreshadowing, because it is like a persona game, so like us. It's made by the same people as Shin Megami Tensei. The enemies were awesome. Different demons from the other Persona games and the Shin Megami Tensei games. There were so many ones from the old games to the newer ones, which I was really happy they did. Um, side quests could have been a little bit less than they should be because they were quite the same stuff. Get the same stuff, get it, bring it back. Get the same stuff, bring it back, get more money, etc, etc. But the story was really, really impactful and I really did enjoy it. And it always made you think, thinking, oh my god, is it that? Is it this? Oh my god, what is going to happen next? I love that type of games, making you think on your feet and it turns out you were wrong to start off with or you were right to start off with. It's one of them type of games. I loved it. And that is why it's going into the Game Gem Collection. 
That leaves us with one more. <coughs> I got this game for free, people. Uh, not the physical one, the physical one I bought in game. But I got it as a PlayStation Plus subscription bonus. And uh, I played it, and I played it again, and I played it again, and I played it again. I played the game four times in a row because I waited all the endings because I had that fucking loved it. I that loved it that much. And it is Trek of Yomi. Trek of Yomi. Trek of Yomi. This is God tier. This is S tier. This is fucking amazing, people. This game, including Ghost of Tsushima, fucking blows them out of the water. Now, I'm, I'm not saying that this is just like Ghost of Tsushima, it's not, but this game is just black and white, okay? No colour. It's just black and white. And if you don't like black and white games, this is not for you. But this game has the best combat I have ever seen on anything, people. It is perfection at its finest. The controls are flawless. The story is beautiful. It really is beautiful. It's about revenge, suffering, romance, everything you can ever think of in one little tiny tub. And this game's not long. This game could probably take you about two hours at least. That is it. It's very, very, very quick. And that's why I played it so many times because I wanted to get every single ending because it was worth it. Some of the achievements are very difficult though because one of the diff one of the um, achievements is to beat the game without getting hit. That's virtually impossible. <laughs> um, some enemies will hit you no matter what, and if you guys have got that platinum, hats to you because I don't think I'll ever do it. Even on easy, I still get hit, which is fucking bullshit. But I got right here a sealed copy because I'm more likely going to be sending this to a game grading shop because I think this game is going to be a very rare game. That's why it's also going to go in the gem collection because this game is going to be freaking amazing. But if you guys like side scrollers ish, it's like a side scroll, it's like a not. But you want something extremely simple, nothing complex, nothing complex. Very easy controls, good saving mechanisms, great story. Trek of Yomi is your jam to your peanut butter. Whether you want to do it. <laughs> so that is my five choices people for the PS5 right from the very get go for my collection. Now there is a lot more PS5 games in my collection people but these are my first five I'm choosing. Ikami, The Wine, Kina, Soul Hackers 2 and Trek of Yomi. If you guys enjoyed this episode, and like I said, people, this is the final episode of Series 1 of Game Gems. I hope to get to see you guys next year for another load of Game Gems in my collection. I may do some same ones. I may go back to the PlayStation 1. Of course, I'm going to be going back to the PS2, but we've got PlayStation 3. We've got ourselves Nintendo Wii's. we got more Wii U stuff. we got some Sega Mega Drive we still need to do. Oh, we got so much stuff to do, people. It's ridiculous. Bye, guys. Hope to see you guys next year for a new series of Game Gems. It may take some time because I need to do a lot of planning for it, but I'm sure to God that it will be happening. Cheerio!